KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together. The Guam Track and Field Association elected its board of directors for the term 2021 through 2025. Derek Mendel returns as president and Joseph Titano retains his role as vice president. Riza Tagati will serve as the new secretary general and Gene Tagati will serve as the new treasurer. Desmond Mendel will continue as the public relations officer of the federation. Other elected board members include Nishita Beneventi, Michael Herreros, Neil Kranz, Peter Rivera, and Regine Tagati Watson. The board is also joined by two athletes, commission representatives, Celine Amparo and Paul DeMolanta. The next four years are an exciting time for the sport of track and field, said Derek Mendel, GTFA president. Major international and regional championships will be occurring every year until 2025, and Guam athletes will have multiple opportunities to compete. GTFA will work to ensure that they are prepared. Our new board consists of knowledgeable and talented individuals eager to raise the level of competition for track and field on Guam. We look forward to working together to carry out our mission, Mandel added. Guam Track and Field Association is the official national governing body of the sport of track and field on Guam. It is affiliated with the Guam National Olympic Committee, World Athletics, and Oceania Athletics Association. More information can be found at guamtrackandfield.com, facebook.com slash guamtrackandfield, and instagram.com slash guamtrackandfield. In a move to further enhance Guam's national team preparations for international competition, the GFA Technical Department has begun to utilize AI technology cameras and video analysis software. Thanks to a QC Community Contribution Grant from GITA and Qualifying Certificate, community contributor, Guam Regional Medical City. Guam Football Association was one of many QC Community Contribution Grant Program Series 4 recipients with over $10,000 in grant funding used to procure two portable AI technology cameras and video analysis software from Sweden-based company Spidio. The Masakata Guam Women's National Team was first at GFA to utilize the camera system and its cloud-based software to film training matches for coaches to use for video analysis. The ultra-wide four-angle camera sensor system with built-in audio support covers 180 degrees horizontal and 90 degrees vertical footage, while the cloud-based software allows individual viewing controls, which can be set to either a fixed width to follow the ball in play, similar to most broadcast type footage, or at a wide angle to include all 20 field players and one goalkeeper following the ball's movement, among other types of view. In programming news, Monday, September 20th at 1020 in the morning, catch some NFL action right here on the stations of KUAM. KUAM TV 8, NBC Sunday Night Football, Kansas City Chiefs at Baltimore Ravens, Baltimore looking for their first win of the season, led by Lamar Jackson. The Chiefs will be trying to improve to 2-0 on the year, led by Patrick Mahomes. KUAM Sports is brought to you by Docomo Pacific. Better together.